research shows that the existing 119,973 polling units in the country were established in 1996 to serve approximately 50 million voters. Notwithstanding the population growth 25 years after, the same number of polling units still serve approximately 84.4 million voters. It is for these reasons that many believe that the ongoing expansion of voter access to polling units will resolve an age-long crisis of insufficient polling units management. This effort must be commended by all citizens of this country because uh, across the globe, uh, what hinders democracy is when people are not having access to voting who they want at a particular point in time. We are part of the, the arrangement and the part of the, the exercise. It's a good development and it's a welcome development. That actually is the conjecture and the tension during election. Political stakeholders at a meeting organized by the FCT Independent National Electoral Commission to brief them on plans to convert some voting points and voting point settlements to polling units in the FCT also made some recommendations. We want to employ INEC in this exercise. Number one is to be transparent, to make sure that everything that they are doing is open to every citizen of Nigeria. And the issue of accessibility um, is very, very key in this voting point conversion that they are converting to polling units. Accessibility to people with disability, accessibility to pregnant women, accessibility for old people that will be coming out on elections day to vote. The insecurity is what is our challenge too. Because there are some of our area councils that even during this exercise, some of the personnel from Ireland we are unable to assess those areas because of the insecurity. They believe that more polling units will address the declining voter turnout at elections and more importantly, reduce crowd at voting centers in this area of COVID-19 pandemic. In Abuja, Ifoma Ojinta, NTN News.